Okay, so let's go on the circle to a right or left, whatever you want. And in the walk first, you show me how he is in the bridle. Then you go back to the trot, because I liked what you were doing. He looked super. Show me how beautiful this is. In here and here, show me how elegant. Chest up and out, even more. Take it a big deep breath. Even bigger breath. <sighs> Breathe in really, really strong until you're so tall. Lift your chin up like you're like the princess of a country. And now, shoulders brought this way so that you feel like, I, I want you to feel powerful inside this part of your body. Because what I feel is you get a little this way. See how I am here? See how does this, look at this. Now, look at this. Which looks more powerful? Okay, so mimic me for a second. Try to take in a breath, push your chest and your stomach toward his ears. Oh, I love that. Now look at me. Bring your chin up and in this way. Yes. Now, yeah, I know, I know. No, oh, it's already good. I like the smile too. Now bring your elbows and let them be flexed so that there's, look, see how this looks? Like this, okay. Now I'm beginning to like it even. That looks beautiful. Okay, now the last part of this. I want you to ask yourself about your feet. While you're sitting up looking, and look between his ears and just sort of hear me. You can keep looking between his ears, sitting up beautiful tall. Now ask yourself, where are your feet right now? Like, are your heels up or down? Okay, can you push them down? Okay, I like that. Now, how do you, what happened to your shoulders? Okay, <laughs> I know that I'm trying to get you a little more, I want you to concentrate on, because what's happened is you're, you're doing things, but not knowing where your body parts are enough, okay? So again, where are your feet? There, put your heels down. Now, where's your chest? Okay, now where are your eyes? Good. Now go ahead and start shortening your reins. And every about 10 steps, Emma, check in with yourself. Do you feel like when you're riding, you're reaching at all for your stirrups? You don't. You feel like your, your stirrup length is fine for you to keep your heels down? Okay, so uh, then if you feel that, then I'm going to tell you, see how your heel is now? It's beautiful. Don't let it be different, okay? So I'm, you're, I'm not gonna allow you to have your heel up, okay? If you wanna touch them with your spur, uh, you're allowed to, but then you have to put your heel like this again. Now, the other thing is, look at me, you're like this again. I want you like this all the time. I want you to be like, oh yes, I am the Queen of England. I'm going to stand like this all the time. Chin up, everyone, chin up, chest forward. Shoulders back, I want everything beautiful all the time. Chest forward, chest forward. Sit so tall. Elbows still on the sides. He looks great. You keep those heels down. Chest forward, look at me. Elbows still, hands still. Beautiful riding, okay? Prepare, now, that's better. Keep your right elbow a little more on your side. Look straight ahead, prepare to trot. How's the heel, how's the heel? And trot on. And then we'll get the rubber band. That doesn't matter. Let's do it again. Stay circling and trot on. And we'll get it again. No problem. Touch him with a spur that he gets a little more forward acting. And now trot on. Good boy. There. That, keep your right rein a little more the next time. We got, yes, yes, there we go. Good horse. And sit up tall. There you go. Yes, and now come a little more forward in the trot, and now we're gonna do the rubber band, okay, Emma? So you have on the open part of the circle from B to back to E, the medium trot, and when you get to E, collected trot, like a passage, here's medium, and now collect, I like that, and now forward, and when you go over the center line, half all toward passage, three steps, come, 
Come, and now forward, good boy. And then the extended one more time, and let me see a little bit better, a little more. Heels down, go. And collect, and sitting up tall, super heels down, change to the circle, and change the, that's out of the circle. Through would be through the center like a S, okay? You know what I'm saying? Through the circle is through the center of the 20 meter circle. Good girl. Good, Emma. Good. Keep those heels. Heels. Right. Heels are important. Heels are important. It means how strong you are. Okay? Good in your seat. Good. Looking up. Sitting up. Medium. And here we go. Good boy. It doesn't matter. Get a clear vision, Emma, of what you want. Okay? In your, in your mind's eye. Clear your vision. Extend. Vallegro. So you got, in other words, you give and push. Don't give so much. Push and keep the bridle. Bend them right a bit. Collect them left. Good, good, good. And push. Extension. Right. Yes. And now passage. Ah, but you got to keep the bridle, right? In other words, you got to clear your vision. See it like a movie. Extended. Good. And extend. See the vision. Sit. Look up. Look up. Push. Yeah, feel the bridle. Feel the bridle. And make them a little rounder. Half off. Yes. And yes, passage. Yes, extend. Feel the bridle. Good girl. Push with your back muscles, right? Not with leaning back. With push with your stomach. Right. And passage. There you're clearing. Bending right. Good, good, good. Prepare to walk and walk. Can I just tell you something very interesting? The minute you trotted, you sit five billion times better. Like when you're walking now, you're like this again. Get up straight again. I was too nice to you now. I, now I see that. Do you know that the minute you trotted, get your street, sit up straight, straighter. Push, look at me. Don't. Push this way. Get your, get your, yes. Do that even more. In other words, okay, now stop. S stop. Halt. So when you're walking, don't think I've got to make my arms go like this. Like this. Keep yourself with your elbows. Push that forward more. Even more. Oh, oh, nice. Push it more. Don't keep pushing it. Yes. See where your elbows are on your side? Feel that? I want them to not move from there. Don't go like this. Okay? Because what you're doing is you're letting your arm get like that. See how your shoulders all? Push that forward. Yes. Till, look. See that? Again, like that. Okay? And now see how your elbows are on your side? And the, your only, the, the giving, he gives inside of this connection. Okay. He gives to his own reward. Okay. You don't have to give. Okay. And have you skied at all? A little bit. Okay, so you, if, if when you, I, I just came back from skiing. It was so okay. interesting. It's so similar. From above here, you really just are like this, going down the mountainside, and everything happens in down here. Well, Interestingly, yes, we straight, and you have to be a real strong in your core mm -hmm. to keep yourself from doing this to go around and getting, and then the skis go all over the place and you fall on your butt. You know? So you have to be strong in your core. You have to get strong in your core, but a, a, a lot of it is you've been thinking, I've got to go, I've got to sort of go along with, and then you've got to hear in the walk. Okay? Like this. You gotta go ahead and sit here and say, okay, get underneath, and I'm just, and the minute you trotted, your posture was 1,000 million percent better, even down to your feet were a lot better. Not always perfect, and I, the reason that I asked you about your stirrup is because, like, it's taken me everything not to shorten them, because the thing is, your, your foot's too, too far in. You want to be up here on the stirrup, okay, there. And you want to be here in the saddle like this 
this with your heel down, and it's, it is definitely doable. Like, you look, except that you need to get your chest more up. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Gorgeous. But why don't you like that? Do it again. Oh, my God. Gorgeous. Chin up higher. Gorgeous. Push it out again. Push it out again. Push the, yes. Yeah, that. <gasps> gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Like when you, and you, when you trotted, you did that. And then you just keep your elbows on your sides, hands sort of close together, close in with fist or not. Gorgeous, right? With those heels down, weight on the ball of your foot, not, not deep, not sort of foot so far into your stirrup. Do the thing when you were just in the hall with your body. Yeah, even more. Even more. Like, like, yeah, do it so much that it go that you go, oh my God, Robert is like making me do this extreme thing and it feels so weird. Do the thing that it's, it feels so weird because it's gorgeous. You look beautiful there. Beautiful. And when you did those trots, extension to passage, perfect. Like beautiful. And he looked beautiful. Okay? Let's do the same thing in your canners of extended canner, pirouette canner, beautiful, gorgeous sitting. Like move that up, upward, outward chest. Beautiful. It's like, did you say you're 17, right? I think it's a 17 thing. It's a little bit of a 17 thing that you don't want to sit. I'm telling you, Michelle sits, there's where she's got the same thing that Isabel Vert has. Incredibly strong back and seat. For a little sh shorter person, incredibly strong back and seat. And used here. It's never about getting here, okay? And you gotta know that that's, we are about 80% back in our seat and 20% leg and hand. So you gotta be strong. So right now, show me that again. Beautiful, even more. Like accentuate your, look at me, that your shoulder blades try to touch each other. Like try to make your shoulder blades come, yes! And take in a big deep breath, prepare to canter. And heels down, remember the heels down. Elbows don't move, remember elbows don't move? Remember how they're indented into your sides? And then canter on. Left rein and canter on. Good boy. Because, you know, I know you want to get to those pirouettes and things like that. We'll get there. We're going to get there. Okay? Okay. So, first things first. Extension, pirouette canter. And look between his ears now. Okay? I know you're listening to me, but you don't have to look at me. Okay? All righty. Extension, collection. And he goes rounder slightly through the left rein. So you watch his left ear, and as he collects, he has to think, I got to extend more, okay? He can't think, I slow down, right? So, extend, feel the rhythm of that. Now, when you collect, ask him to extend more, and then just make him come rounder a little. That was good, you did super there, huh? And you're sitting really well, heels a little more down. Do it again. Good girl, look up and make him a little rounder. And as you, now you say extend more and collect. But now, collect that. Collect what you feel when you make him extend. Bend him a little, collect him. Bend him a little with, yes. Now come around me. Smaller circle, I loved that. Good girl. Shorten the reins a bit. Think of an extension right here on the smaller circle. Look between his ears and faster. Now speed him up. And again, okay, good boy, pet him with the right hand, good, and again, collect with the left rein, good boy, and now, in the same exact rhythm, ride a little bit of haunches in, but don't let anything else change, good, yep, and quiet, and quiet, and again, collect, good, good, and add a little bit of speed to his canner again, and now collect again on the left rein, that he gets lighter, and quiet, good, good, and flex him a little right, and now just make his haunch come a little bit more on me, but don't let anything with his front end come on me. Good, good. Keep him forward, and now go out. Super riding, super riding. And now go across the half of the arena, 
and a flying change over the center line. We get the rubber band the other way. Heels down. Heels down, toes in. <clears throat> Super, elbows are lovely. Good, good, you look great. And the 20 meter circle, extended canter. Heels are up. The heels, yes, gotta keep your heel down. More than that, I'm gonna be on you about your heels, okay? Cause you got this gorgeous long leg and it's a pity if your heel's up, right? You know, you, you know, you gotta have like what I call Gunter Seidel heels. Heels beautifully down, all right? Okay, and again, extended and collected and he goes rounder in the right rein, the right. So when you collect, he goes round on the right. Good boy, pet him with the left hand. You did that super girl. Emma, that was really good. Do it one more time. So when he collects, he goes rounder on the right rein, okay? And he collects and he goes rounder. Don't sit too, don't be too abrupt as you bring him. Yes, that's nice. Now come around me. And he stays just like that. Pretty, pretty. And then you just bring him quietly until his butt's almost on me. And you look up, but keep the same rhythm, same rhythm. Good and quiet. Give your left a bit. Good, good, good. Not too much spur. Good. Oh, he's a super boy. Haunch a bit more on me. Now it's okay, it's okay. One more time. Keep him just a little more bent and then relax this rein. Good, good. Look up and just touch him and then relax your leg. Heels down. Are the heels way down? Are they way down? Good, so your seat's doing it, right? Look up, look up. Yes, and now go out. That was lovely, wasn't it? You did that super, girl. All right, so now prepare to walk. And we're gonna let him walk, and you're gonna show me as you walk how gorgeous you're gonna sit while you walk. Walk, and this is all about am I beautiful, how beautiful, how beautiful. Elbows are still, they're so still. Elbow, look at me, elbows are still on your side. They're not moving, more on your side. Hands, look, try to put your thumbs together. Turn your chin way high, chest way out in front of you, heels way down, way down. Even now, look at me, that one thing, I want you to do that like that. Yes, gorgeous, gorgeous, heels down, long rein, take it a big deep breath, give him a huge pat. Can I just tell you something? You got it going on. When you trot and canter and do your that movement, both you and Michelle have done a super good job of training him. Like, this right pirouette is as good as your left pirouette. That was awesome. There was nothing wrong with that. I can imagine that in a test, if you aren't concentrating on, on that he comes in and he's round first and he's on the aids correctly and then you turn and you forget an aid, you're 17, that happens. But in the general training of this horse, he's lovely trained. And you're a super feeling Rider, I think you need to, your own self-confidence has to keep improving. You have to believe in how good you are. You're really good. You have to believe in how good you are. It's a thing that, you know, like, self-confidence is a, is a weird thing. It, it feeds on itself. It's not good enough that I just tell you're good. You gotta believe you're good enough. You gotta, and when somebody, you know when you, have you ever watched gymnastics? When they walk in, have, have you, you know, how do they walk in? When gymnasts walk into the, into the gymnasium at, at the World Championships or the Olympics, what do they walk like? D yeah, they walk in like this, and you notice what they do with their feet? They sort of, you notice that? They sort of look gymnastic, don't they? they and the, do, do they ever walk in like that? And if you see an opera singer, we talk about opera, do they ever walk in like that? So if you come in to the ring on your horse and you say to me at the first steps, this is who I am with my, both my heels up and my shoulders down and my chest this way, you are saying to me that you don't believe in your own self enough. Does that, does that make sense to you? 
I want you to say, Emma, I am so good. I'm going to be that gymnast that walks in and says, look at me now. Even do that right now. Do that right now for Yes, do that even more. I know it's, it's one of those things that it's a weird, like you said, it felt weird. I don't want it to feel weird. I want it to be the opposite. I want this to feel weird. Okay? Put your heels way down as you do that. In other words, I want you to grow as tall from the top of your head to the bottom of your heel as you can while you're walking. Because you know what's so weird? When you're trotting and you're cantering, what happens is you get so involved in the training that you go away from your own self-doubt. You only self-doubt while you're walking and thinking about yourself. Isn't that interesting? The minute you started trotting, your, your whole expression on the horse and your look and cantering, your whole look goes, confident, I'm really good, I'm, because you're thinking about the stuff that you're having to do. Only when you're walking do you start to do this again with your heels up and your shoulders round a bit and you say, oh, I'm going to bring my chest in because I don't want anybody to see that I have a chest. God forbid that I would, you know what I mean? If, if I were you, I'd be going, I'm gorgeous, because you are. And I'd be going around going, I'm like flawless and fabulous, and I'm going to sit up and, be fa and, and look flawless and fabulous, because i got legs that go forever. And the whole thing. So I want you to do that for me, OK? Your pirouettes were super. Before we finish today, I just want you to show me a little of your Piaf stuff. And then tomorrow, we're going to get to this other stuff. We're going to get to the lateral work. And we're going to get to the changes, because you said his changes were pretty good. For today, I just want you to show me a little bit of your half steps and stuff like that, OK? Show me what that means, OK? Because I sort of think it's going to be better than yeah, I have a feeling it is. <laughs> okay? Do it however you've been doing it, too. Like, like if it comes from the passage or if it comes from the trot, do it like that. Most important for me is your heels down your, and how you're sitting with your elbows. Look at me. Like, so indented that you'd have, like, a little, um, like a little bruise here. Don't let yourself be doing this. Elbows on your side, especially the right one. Chest, look at me. I'm really do it. Yeah, that's it. Now go ahead and do your thing. Heels down. Go ahead. Good boy. Good boy. And bring it a little back. And as you bring it back, think of a passage. Now just passage. So yes, now passage. So the next time you bring it back, the minute that he comes back, just ask him to passage forward again. A little bit. Okay? So as you come back, just quietly passage now. Now passage. Now go. Go ahead. Uh, that's awesome, girl. So the big thing is, remember I said, whenever you're in the piaf, you should still really have the extended trot. So the passage should still be in the piaf. So as you bring them back, go forward again. So now go forward. Right now. Just sit back. That was awesome. Can I just tell you something? Walk. You guys have done a great job. I love both of you. Love you. Like, and I love him. And can I just tell you something? I know you're working toward the pre-St. George. Let's move it on. Let's do pre-St. George, intermediate one, on to the Grand Prix. I would say, does he, how far away, how far are you in your changes? Heels down, toes up, chest out, right now. On you go, guys. On you go, on you go, on you go. This kid's got it going on. You guys got it going on. That horse has got it going on. On you go. By 18, forget, I mean, get that pre-St. George for yourself done. Get yourself knowing where you are in the ring. And once you get that going on, Get on to the zigzags, get on to the, 
the twos, the ones, the whole thing. Get on to the U25. Let's do it while he's young enough to stay as flawless as he is. And, how, and you just keep after it. And be after her on this most hugely important thing of this because it is, I, I, you know, it seems like it's not so important and yet honestly, it's everything. How you believe you are, who you believe you are. That right there, that Piaf Passage was fantastic. If everybody did that in an arena with no whip the way you just wrote it, we'd all be jumping up and down. That was fantastic. That wasn't just, oh, that might be good enough. That was gorgeous, okay? And you ride really well. And so now it's just a matter of let's move it on, okay? And so I would say, Yes, spend this season getting your feet wet. But at home, if it were me with you, get at home, I'd be saying, okay, we're going to practice your St. George I won for the shows. And at home, you're going to be practicing all the stuff that has to do with the U25 and on Grand Prix and preparing, preparing, preparing so that maybe even for the summer, you may have advanced beyond even the thought of doing the the, 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 the the small tour stuff, maybe, because that's how good you and this horse are, you know? In other words, his highlights are in these amazing, like when you pirouetted around me, I already thought, oh, this is going to be really fun when he, that was, that's a super training job, you guys. It's like super training. Is he? But but it's all it's the training is good. Like how he's connected to the reins. He, he's not is is you could see that you could mess that up, but it's really fine. And so the big thing is confidence. How you're put those heels down, push that chest forward, get that chin high. Twice as much as you're doing it while you're saying aha to me twice as much as you're doing it, okay? And walk out of this ring, girl, proud. You're awesome. 